Hello, hello, this is Minecralix here, and welcome to another episode of Super Flat Survival Vanilla. This is episode 3, and oh my god, the beautiful sunrise of Minecraftia on the Super Flat World of three blocks of, I think it's four blocks of uh, dirt and one block of bedrock. So anyway, uh, some of you may have wondered why I have actually kept the um, valuables inside the chest. The reason is, is that since I got blown up by the creeper, I understand that I actually have to, um, I have to conserve my materials and store them carefully. I shouldn't really carry them around with me just in case I die. Um, and obviously, as you can see, I am kind of at low health right now and low hunger. So I'm just going to wait for all these zombies to burn up just in case. Um, and I don't know if it's a glitch. I think that I think that there shouldn't be so much lantern lantern spawning. There's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and especially when so much spawn in the same spot. Now, oh, let me just go back back up to see. So now, unfortunately, I think I did lose my original village because there are no geographical markers. I can't see any uh, lines of. Uh, dirt going out into the distance to other neighboring villages, so I guess I'm going to have to find my original village eventually. I think I can eventually find my village because I'm going to search for more villages than this one because I do want to get diamonds from a uh, blacksmith, which is possible, and I also need more obsidian too, and uh, just m more supplies too. However, I can now finally start building my house and. Uh, building a permanent settlement so at first I thought that this was actually going to be my at first I actually thought that um, the original village was going to be my area of settlement but now I found out that actually I'm probably going to um, live here because uh, let's have all the materials here okay let me see just real quick so what I have to do is I have to um, so, okay, here's the oak saplings. So, I'm going to have to do is I'm going to go to the other, uh... Yeah, that's... That's not good. Yeah, poor villagers. Well, like I said before, I'm going to go and find... Well, okay, why are you not burning up? Yes, this is... No. 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 God damn it. Okay, I, r I really, really hope this is the village that I just died in. I, I just, I really, really hope. I could not run because my health, my uh, hunger was too low. And uh, I couldn't really h uh, retaliate because there's too many of them. And uh, they were too fast. And I couldn't stop either because they were too fast too. So, I really wish I had uh, some kind of sword with me or something. Well, if this is not the village that I uh, died in, I'll flip out. Oh, there's already a blacksmith there. Okay, I think this is the village because I can see a plethora of those uh, lanterns there. Lanterns. Yes, I'm pretty sure this is the correct village. Okay, so like I said, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Um, okay, yeah, this is where my sapling is, just to keep it secure. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to consolidate all of my most important materials. So I'm going to do, I'm going to run real quick to the... Wait, how did that get in there? Oh my god, a slime spawn inside a building. Yeah, this is what I mean that I shouldn't build my house in a slime chunk. Um, wow, this is a quite rare village with all these lantern lanterns here. Uh, so I'm just going to put all, in all of my valuables in here. Uh, looks like I have iron leggings, obsidian, so what I'm going to do with the iron ingots is... Okay, let's see how... I'm just going to put them back real quick just so I don't lose them. So I'm going to go to the closest library here, and I can see there's a library there. Um, and grab a crafting table and set up another base of operations. But before I do that, so while it's still daytime and while there's not too much slimes here, I'm going to just uh, break these lanterns and collect a bunch of these uh, torches. However, as soon as I begin an industrial, as soon as I build an industrial wood farm, tree farm, uh, from these saplings that I just received, I probably won't need to collect torches from these anymore because I'll have a lot of wood for torches and uh, obviously charcoal too. Uh, but I still want to collect these just in case because... Uh, Torches can't be bad, and I already have 21, which is great. And yeah, this is this is the time that I have to hide. I think I'm going to build a door here, probably, maybe. Okay, let me just put this all in here. Um, so, like I said before, I need to go to the, um, to the closest library and grab myself, um... Yeah, this is, this is not good. Okay, let's make a run for it. Let's make a run for it. 
Okay, where is that? Oh, yeah, there's, there's a build, there's a library there. Uh, so what I need a library for is so I can take a crafting table and I can start crafting. Uh, I need to craft a bucket from the iron so I can uh, collect lava and water so I can make a cobblestone generator. So I can make cobblestone. So I can build my house out of cobblestone. Yeah, I have to get out of here as fast as possible. Okay, okay, this is what I need for food right now. I'm going to have to make some swords soon. I really hope I can actually eventually find the village that I actually originally uh, spawned in and made my base operations because I I wouldn't say that I have any valuables there, but still, it would be nice to find the village that I completely lost. I think eventually I will, since I will explore all of the neighboring villages. Um... So let me take my crafting table, place it down right here. This is going to be my base operations. Um, I'm going to make a door soon. Uh, let's see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh, I wonder how much... Should, should I make two buckets or should I just make one? Oh, I'm just going to make one just because uh, iron is an expensive resource. And when I craft a bucket, I cannot uncraft it. So, um, so what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to create a cobblestone generator right here, and I'm just going to start making cobblestone. Um, as soon as I can gather some wood, I can make cobblestone, and then I can, using using that cobblestone, I can make myself a base and make myself a fortress. Um, and unfortunately, that is kind of difficult since all these slimes here are blocking my way. Damn it. Uh, okay, where am I going to get the wood that I need for my... Uh, well, I know where I'm going to get... Okay... I just want them to burn in the lava so bad. Hey, that's not such a bad idea. Burn burn them in the lava. No, actually, that's gonna ignite my house, so... Well, not this house. I mean, not, not my house, but this house. So, that that's a bad idea. Okay... Oh, so this is what I'm going to do. Oh, yes. So I'm going to connect this house with this house. Since they're already kind of connected, I can see how this is going to be useful. I'm just going to break all these window panes. Also, by the way, we're not going to have access to windows for a very long time. Um, so I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, craft myself some tools just so I can um, just collect cobblestone. Because a cobblestone generator is no use without actually a pickaxe that can collect the cobblestone. Um, so let me see. Oh, that's really great. I could co completely... I could just... I think I could dismantle this whole house into wood planks. I don't want to go outside and into the gardens to collect the wood there because there's way too many slimes there. So It would be a great idea to collect all of the wood from here. So, Wow, there's a crap ton of... Such crap ton of these slimes here. I hate these slimes so much. I just want them to burn. So let me see. Maybe I could really. Oh. Yes. Burn. Burn. Die. Oh, that was actually pretty successful. Wow. Wow. That is. That can actually kill the slimes. Okay, but most importantly, I need to get myself a pickaxe so I can collect some cobblestone. Let's see, is this going to be enough for a door or not? Actually, no, I d I'm not going to make a door because I could just I could just steal a door from here. Yeah, I'm just going to steal a door from here. Yeah, this doesn't seem to be a good idea. It looks like I'm kind of cornered right now. Um, or I could just escape through the back side here, so anyway, that's no problem. Yep, escaped. I escaped. Okay, there's way too many slimes here. What, what is this? Is this a slime slime mania or what? Okay. The, the reason I need the door so I could place the door so the slimes would stop like sneaking in all the time. Oh yeah, and here's another issue. There's another issue that the slime's still coming in through here, the small slimes. Well, they're just a nuisance. It's not that I, they're kind of bad, it's just that it's a, it's a big nuisance. Um, so what I'm going to do is now, I think I'm going to create a cobblestone generator right here, exactly. Or, no, I think I'm going to have to create it... I think I'm going to have to create it underground or something, because the lava can actually burn the, the wood, which is kind of going to suck. But anyway, uh, so let me just see. This just reminds me of Skyblock. And of course, this, uh, 
Super Flat Survival is quite dependent off, um... Super Flat Survival is quite dependent off cobblestone generators because that's just basically what is needed to make cobblestone and just basically any building materials. Okay, so unfortunately I just realized that I have to, um... I have to place lava, I have to place water before I place lava, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put just lava right here, just, just put the area of lava here. Yeah, I think this can still start a fire, unfortunately, so let me think what I can do about that. What I'm going to do is I think I'm going to go just one block lower, just so, just in case it... Yeah, so this is where my cobblestone gen is going to be. Um, it's going to be quite hard to climb out of it, but it's okay. Okay, somehow I'm going to have to escape this too. Well, it's good that I have two exits because now I can actually exit from both ways. However, both exits are cornered by slimes, which is not something I look forward to. Especially since I don't have a sword. And I... Oh, actually I could craft a sword, but I don't know, should I? Oh yes, I think it's a necessity since I do need to get water. And the only place that I can get water from is from the central... Uh, Ah, uh, I can only get water from the central well. Oh, or maybe I can actually mine underground to the well. That actually wouldn't be such a bad idea. Okay, let me see. I'm going to basically mine underground until I reach the... The, um, the well. The, the village well, so I can collect... Um, so I can basically collect uh, water for my cobblestone generator. Oh my god, I hate this so much. Just get the heck out of here. What is this? Yeah, okay, this is not good, yeah. Yeah, I think I should have started a bit earlier. Yeah, super flat survival is no easy thing. But I still love it. I love super flat survival. Super flat survival is extremely fun. I hope this won't interfere with my super... Uh, I mean, I hope this won't interfere with my cobblestone gen. Yeah, I think it won't. Okay, let's see. Now I have to uh, calculate exactly where the well actually ends. So I think the well ends somewhere here. Okay. Oh, yes, yes. This is... Yeah. I'm pretty sure... Oh, yes. I have a bunch of torches. Oh, my God. That was... That was a close call. Yeah. You know, I, I, don't, I don't want any mobs going in here, so I'm just going to cover this up real quick. Um, I'm pretty sure that I have a bunch of, uh... Yes, I have a bunch of torches, so I can just light this whole area up just in case no mobs spawn or anything. Um, and also, I can just light up the area underground. Okay, I shouldn't have my lava bucket in my hotbar just in case, so I don't, like, uh, pour out the lava somewhere where I wouldn't want to. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that this, uh... This cobblestone here is the well, because the cobblestone from the other buildings doesn't actually go as deep down. So let me see, is... Oh yeah, that's just my pickaxe. Okay. Oh yes, I'm pretty sure, yeah, this is where it's gonna flood. Yep. Yep, this is where it's gonna flood. Oh, this could actually be a pretty nice exit. I could have uh, an exit through the water, because that way slimes can actually touch me. However, this is kind of dangerous, because there's there's mobs there. And actually, yeah, like, slimes can actually enter here. And however, if slimes do come here, they're gonna suffocate and die, so... Um, but I'm pretty sure that, that mobs can sometimes. I, I saw some skeletons there, so... I'm just gonna better cover it up. Um, so, wait. But I have to put my lava somewhere. Because I have to put the water first, and then lava. So I have to put the lava somewhere until... Just for the for the time being. Oh, I think. Oh, yes, I can make an. I can basically make an underground uh, storage area for lava because the dirt can't burn. So yeah. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to. Uh, this is what I'm going to do. Yes, and right here is where my lava is going to be stored. Right here. And it's going to also provide light, so yeah, this is going to be the area where I store my lava. Uh, so now I'm going to mine out the well right here once again, so I can collect water. Let's see, maybe I can, can collect water from far out. Oh, yep, collect water, so. Collected water. Okay, let me just... Yeah, I just saw some slime dime here, I can see the particle effect, so yeah. Yep, there are slimes dying here, I love dying slimes. Slimes should die. 
I love when slimes die. Slime genocide. Kill all those slimes just because they're slimes. Um, okay, let me see. Um, oh, actually, I shouldn't have jumped in there. So let's see, water right here, and uh, I'm going to go grab my lava, and finally, I think this is where I'm going to wrap up the episode, because um, while I'm not filming, I'm going to create a bunch of cobblestone, because I do need a lot of cobblestone, I, I'm thinking about 10 stacks or so of cobble for, um, for my base, so while I'm not filming, I'm going to be collecting cobblestone, and... Uh, a big of my a large goal that I was expecting to fulfill was just fulfilled. I'm very, very happy. I've gone through so many hardships in this world to actually make a cobblestone generator. And now the only thing I have to do is place the lava. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to jump in. Just I don't, I don't like the piece of dirt laying there just because I don't. And just let me pour the lava. And yes! Victory! Victory is now mine. Well, not really, but I finally got a cobblestone generator, which is great. And like I said before, I made it so low down just in case so it doesn't light up any of the areas around because it would be pretty dangerous if this would burn down because that way the slimes and the mobs could uh, kill me. So, uh, and, and if I am pretty sure that if the lava would be here, then it can light fire like to a block adjacent of it, and then that fire can light the um, planks here. So, anyway... Um, so I'm just gonna mine, so let me just check it. Oh, just lost that. Anyway, so, uh, thank you very much for watching episode 3 of Super Flat Survival. I have achieved so much in this episode. I'm so, so happy. I can finally start building my base now and actually getting to work. So see y'all in the next episode, which will be episode 4. Expect more episodes soon. I hope all of you are having a wonderful day, and I'm out. It's Minecraft.